Shop Dog is pretzel powered, and he says welcome back to a 67 Camaro video. Diesel's up, and we're going to sort some of this stuff out and try to get some of this prepped for uh, bead blasting and see if I can come up with a storage system because I think this car is going to be apart for a very long time. And Shop Dog says, well, you know, it's what is it outside? Zero, minus ten? It's bloody cold, so might as well be in here where it's warm. All right, Shop Dog says that things are moving along. Diesel is doing what he's best at, which is organizing things. I just went through this box. That's the dash, the gauges, the front interior screws, um, you know, console bezel. Oh, I should write on the, on the box that it's also all the duct work. But the next thing I need to do is clear off a spot for me to start storing this stuff. So I am going to spend a few minutes kind of probably consolidate all Kelsey's stuff over and come up with some shelf space, maybe even start where the Pontiac stuff used to be and create a spot and go up there and get a really, really long box for all those moldings because that's the safest way to do that. Shop Dog's got a weird proposition for anybody that might be somewhat local that in, you know, 90s style audiophile. I've still got my Bose 401 sitting up here and I can't ever see using them again. So if anybody's interested in those, please let us know. Shop Dog would like to get that space back. All right, things are starting to even go in boxes at this point. God, so much to take apart. A little effort and some scary ladder work. I now have a bay for Camaro parts. And Shop Dog, he's nonplussed about it. He doesn't care about ladders because he doesn't have to use them. All right. All right, so this box has got everything for interior screws. Uh, you know, these are the pieces in for the, the, for in the, the back. Rear. In the back, yeah, it's got uh, all the bolts, everything that everything I could find here, including, you know, the weld trim and, you know, those go on the inside of the door. That's all interior. Uh, I've got a, I have a general, uh, uh, bags, bags of uh, bolts, door bolts, windshield bolts, um, there's a miscellaneous bag of just, those all look like under hood bolts, everything else seems pretty well tagged, uh, bumper bolts, etc. Yeah, unfortunately these were all in a coffee can, so they didn't get sorted, but on the same token, they're not exactly rocket surgery. Yeah, there's a lot of the same thing here, so this will all go into one bag by itself. Now, I know there are interior bolts in here, in this box, oh, okay. in bags. However, they go with the stuff that's in yeah, here. Leave them in there. They were also in a coffee can. Yeah. Um, so okay. all, this, all this trim is ready to go into a box. It's Probably all that box. <laughs> yeah, that box right there. It's, uh, it's all paired with what it is. So this is all the spear stuff. Uh, windshield stuff is all together. Interior. Um, this piece, I brought it out. It was in a bag. That is for the... You know the front where the trim on the going up the little yes little and it goes over side. yeah uh, now i did buy new trim but i don't know if it comes with those pieces yeah it usually does you have to buy those separate uh so that's all here that can go into boxes all the seat belt stuff is all wrapped and taped in here got a jack and got yeah because those seat belts are good and they're deluxe seat belts and yes seat belts are those were very expensive jack parts here this is all ready to go into boxes um Right, and get out of our way. We can get into the body, body panels and move those pieces off. So yeah, making good progress here. Yeah, no, it didn't figure it'd be too, too bad. And then this box, of course, is window parts. And really no reason to change that until I get around to buying all that stuff, which will be a little while. We're going to wait on a nice sale or a good coupon. And something of interest to anybody that actually is interested in the Camaro stuff is these are two different fenders this is a standard car fender and the headlights was bolted in here you know the bucket and these have an aftermarket rs adapter on them this is a factory rs fender and see how that bracket is welded in so that's one of the things you can look for in fact this one has a broken weld i'm gonna have to spot weld that um the other thing i noticed this car's had a little bit of repair over the years and originally was an RS car, but it was a six cylinder car Look where they filled in the badges. So knowing that 
that the rocket ship was a base car, this is probably its fender. This definitely is not. Although you'll see when we look at the doors, when we come to the driver's door, it's the correct paint code. So whatever caused them to have to replace that fender did not affect the door. So don't know why that happened. Wasn't there. That's many, many, many years ago. One of the things I didn't want to have to do is take the, the hood springs off. I spent so much time aligning this, but I got a feeling that this car isn't all aligned anymore anyway. All right, this fender is now stripped. So that's ready to go get blasted. The emblems did not come out without a fight, but that's okay. That's not uncommon. On this one, we got to take the antenna and the emblems. And the way the emblems work is you can see the yeah there's like these little inserts that you pop into the body you know into the drilled hole and then the emblem slides into there it spreads it out but a lot of times they don't like to come back out of course you also don't normally have such good access to them to the back side people wind up screwing up the paint job prying them out so yeah a couple minutes while this one stripped too turns out shop dog still pretzel powered Alright, getting ready to yank some speed nuts off. These are self-threading. And you now they just pop right off. Looks like the last time somebody re-drilled for this, they used some tape. So that'd be probably Hot Rod Factory from when they painted the hood. For anyone wondering why we're changing the color and blasting everything down to metal, that just broke off when we were pulling that. That's got to be a 16th inch of mud right there. That's why. we got to find the sins. All right, we've still got the doors and the deck lid, but we're kind of working our way through stuff. We're getting there. And now it's time to pull locks, window regulators, you know, little trims, door handles, and hinges. All of that's got to come out now. Oh, and all these little bits from the weather stripping. So, it'll still take a minute. Okay. We're finally getting somewhere here. We've still got door hinges left. But I think we've got pretty much everything else out. We're just knocking off the rest of those little uh, uh, clips fr from the metro molded strip there. And, yeah. Getting there. Just like that this door is skinned so oh I got one little piece of plastic here and I think there was a screw over here I seem to remember seeing a screw oh, right, right there. there other than that there's nothing left on this one for future reference because future Aaron is not gonna remember the top track spans here to here the bottom track obviously bolts here to here and under this dum-dum is uh, the, the, the rear vertical. The, yeah, the other one didn't have that dum-dum on it, so it's obviously been a part. And the window regulator is these holes here, door lock coming around, and of course, you know, just like you would normally see. And don't forget the clip. Yes, the there's a little clip that keeps this from rattling too much. So, you know, future Aaron just needs to remember. Luckily, he's got friends that remember all this stuff and a shop dog's getting exhausted but we got this door now this video is brought to you by goggles and old age <laughs> all right all the driver door hinges hardware lock mechanism is all right there passenger door here same thing should be identical parts right and left and then these are door bolts uh, from the body side and then the striker uh, bolts as well so three bags of bolts Doors for both sides, passenger, driver. And then over here is our locks and window regulators and tracks. So perfect. Looking around, you wouldn't believe it, but we actually got quite a bit done. These are stripped and ready for sandblasting or, you know, media blasting, not sandblasting. You know, these windows are now ready for when I decide to take them apart and rebuild them. All of these rollers are just trash. 
So I've got to change the glass anyway. So this is the time to deal with replacing all of the rolling hardware. Um, they've, I've never been happy with the quarter windows in this car. They've always been sloppy. Of course, to be fair, almost every first gen I've ever been in, the rear quarter windows are sloppy. And that's because these things wear out real quick. So this is this has been a pretty good day. We got a lot done in just a few hours. The other big, big thing, and I've got a lot of cleanup still to do over here, is I now have a spot to be putting things. So you can see... You know, because I don't get rid of anything until it's it's done. Until the project's done, none of that goes away. You never know what you didn't know you needed off of an old part. Happens all the time. So Shop Dog says, thanks for watching our video. Hope you enjoyed it.